coach Sherelle here from Planner with a Praise, where I offer simple and creative ideas to help you organize your money and your time so that neither is ever wasted. If you're new to my channel, then thank you so much for stopping by. And if you've been here before, then welcome back. And I invite each and every one of you to become a part of the Praise Team. To make that happen, it's really simple. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button anytime during the video. I also invite you to follow me over on the Instagram platform. So my friends, in today's video, I am bringing to the screen what I like to call my activity planner. Now, most people, when they hear the term activity journal or activity tracker, their minds are directed to some type of journal where people are keeping track of their exercise and fitness. However, for me, my activity journal is all about keeping track of my activities that I enjoy far as my crafting. So the crafts that I enjoy the most are crocheting, beading, and reading. I also do take a dab here and there at sewing. So one of the reasons why I created this journal is to kind of help me keep track of how much time I'm spending on an activity. I also chose this journal to also help me organize my activities and crafting that I do. If you want to see a flip through of this journal, I did do a video and you could check it out right here. So in today's video, I'll be creating a reading log to add to this journal. And um, the reason why I'm doing that is because I need one. <laughs> and also to, um, to just keep track of what I'm reading throughout the year. Now I am an avid reader, but since I started my YouTube channel, I really don't have a lot of time to read. So what I did for 2021 is I made a commitment to only read five books. And then this way I will be able to really concentrate on my social media. So to begin this reading log, let me just show you some of the materials that I'll be using. So I found these eyeglass stickers from Hobby Lobby. Uh, I don't even remember when, but I'll be using these. And this is from their Paper Studio collection. I also pulled out my bookish sticker book. This is from the Happy Planner. Then my friends, I pulled out a collection of additional Happy Planner sticker books that I will be pulling from. So those of you who follow me, you know that I try my best to keep my stickers out of frame because I like for you to see the sheet that I'm working on when I am creating my weekly spreads or my monthly spreads. I just prefer that you are able to see how my designs are coming forth rather than looking at the stickers. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by pulling out my alphabet sticker book and hmm, let's see. Do I want to go with this color or do I want to go with black? Let me see. I should have thought about that at least, but I didn't. Um, where is the black anyway? Okay, so I found the black letters, but I don't have enough to work with. So I think what I want to do is I'm going to use this color sticker. Let me just turn to the exact page. Here we go. This is the stickers I'm going to use on this page and I'm gonna go ahead and write out the word reading log. So we're gonna start there and then we'll move forward. So I was thinking about writing the word reading log in a landscape style, but now I'm having second thoughts and I think I'm just gonna stay with the portrait style. <laughs> Okay, so I have my reading log header down. Next thing I wanna do is I'm pulling out these cute eyeglasses. Let me just show you. There's four in a pack and they each have a different type of frame. 
but I think I want to use, I don't know. Uh, I'm struggling between these two pair, but I think I want to go with this pair here at the very bottom. So we'll start there. Okay, I think that's cute so far. And then I'm going to pull from my Book It sticker book. And there were some sticker strips that I really liked. Here they go, right here. And these also have uh, eyeglasses on them, which is the main reason why I was so attracted to uh, these eyeglasses here because I don't know if you could tell, but they look somewhat similar. I'm going to put this here. There you go. And I'll be able to write the title of my very first book right here on this bookshelf or what I'm calling a bookshelf. Then I'm pulling in another sticker book. This sticker book had some really cute plants that I wanted to add to this spread. So I'm going to pull out one of these plants and place it. And here is the plant I'm choosing to use. And then I'll put another bookshelf right beside it so that I could write the name of my second book. Now I don't have the name of the books just yet that I'm going to use. I do have one book that I'm reading now and it's called Betty. So that's the first book that I'll be reading this year. But the other four haven't really decided. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. I'm thinking I could add another bookshelf right here. And I think I will because I'll probably need this space in order to even have room on this page to write five books down. So I think I'm going to go ahead and add a small bookshelf here as well. So I'm going to have to go ahead and cut this long strip in half because I'm going to need to use it in two places. So let me grab my handy dandy X-Acto knife for that. So I'm just eyeing the length that I need. I didn't measure anything. I'm just safely assuming that this is a safe enough length for me to be able to write down the title of a book. Yep, I think that was a smart choice to add that. There was another sticker I wanted to use here as well. Actually, I'm struggling between two. I will show you which ones that I'm thinking about. One is, uh, where'd it go, Sherelle? One is this sticker here, one of these stickers. And then the other one that I thought was really, really cute is, where'd it go? They have these big comfy chairs in this sticker book. And so between the two, I want to use one of them. See? So I'm struggling because I kind of want to use one of these chairs, but I also like the, um, the stack of books. So I don't know. Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to go with, I don't know. I think I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with this orange chair. And if I have room to place um, a stack of books, I will. And if I don't, I won't worry about it. How's that? Because I really do like these comfy chairs. I just think they're adorable. And you know what? I think I will have space to add, um, the stack of books somewhere on here because now that I think about it I could write a title of a book here and here and here I only need space to write the title of two more books and I still have the whole bottom page of my reading log to decorate so let's see where this goes let's see where it goes all right so I want to work in this bottom left corner and the same sticker book has some family pets so I want to put a dog here in this corner
Okay. And then, hmm. You know what I'm thinking would be really, really nice is, and I, I actually thought about this in advance, but I'm just reminded of it, a quote. A quote would really, really be cute. So before I add a quote, I'm going to put yet another bookshelf down right here. And when I place it, I'm hoping to give the effect that the dog is laying under a bookshelf. Now I'm going to take just a piece of this sticker off because I need it to make another bookshelf. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to extend a very small piece of the same sticker strip to make another bookshelf. So I have that here and then work with me. Let's see what else. I have these books as well and it's just like the front of the book. I forget what they're called. My, my mind is escaping me. The um, binder, we'll call it the binder. It's like three books um, and it's just the binder portion that you could see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this here. Or actually, you know what? Should I place it this way? Oh, now I can't decide. Hmm. What I could do is I have it. I'm going to place it here. Yes, I'm going to place it here because remember, I need the space here to write down the title of whatever book I plan to read. And then I'll take my last strip and place it along here somewhere. So let me see. Here we go. There we go. So now I have one, two, three, four, five. Five areas where I can write the titles of the books that I'm reading. And then I want a quote. I feel like I need a quote. So let me pull out this sticker book because this is called Happy Quotes. So even though I pulled it out for the plants that were inside, I know they also have some quotes here. So let me see what I could find. Um, I don't think I want to go with yellow because yellow is really accentuated. So maybe I could find orange or I don't know, maybe green. That would be nice if I could find green. Let me try another sticker book. Okay, this is the Gold Star Quote sticker book. Dream with all your heart. This is cute, I found something. This sticker is perfect. It says, coffee o'clock and it already has a coffee mug attached to it. So this sticker is going right here, but one thing I see I'm gonna have to do is, I have to cut off this mug in order for the sticker to fit in that space. I'm loving it. Okay, so the last thing I need to do, I guess, is to place something here. And, hmm, I already know. I'm returning to my bookish sticker book because this book has, where is it at?
there's a page with just books not not this page here although this would be cute too right because I did say I wanted to add ah uh, because I did say I wanted to add this stack of books somewhere hmm no because there's books here this is the page I was more or less thinking about was this right here and I think I want to go with this one but you know what I'm not going to because it's too small for that space instead I'm going to pull this green one let's see yes I think that is definitely a smarter option there we go and you know what guys my reading log is done I love the way it came out I have plenty writing space to write down the titles of the five books I'm planning to read I have one of my favorite stickers which is eyeglasses I love to see eyeglasses and books in forms of stickers I have both on the page there is my coffee mug and a comfy cozy chair which brings in the whole reading vibe of you know relaxing and enjoying your favorite book so guys I am done here let me go ahead and put this page back into my activity journal so while I'm here I just want to show you the main cover of this journal I love the cover of this planner I purchased this cover from the happy planner website when they were showcasing black artists and soon as I saw it I'm like this would be perfect for my activity planner so I just wanted to show you that all right so we are putting this back where it belongs okay my friends so this is what my reading log looks like now that it's back in the planner i hope you enjoyed this video and i also hope that it gave you some idea of what you could do with your planners tell me how are you using your planners let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more content like this please hit the subscription button and be a part of the praise team also i encourage you to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my videos this is sherelle from plan with a praise saying peace and blessings